1983 when you were part of the team that discovered the HIV virus. Did you personally expect the consequences of HIV would be so serious and widespread? When we uh, identified the virus in 1983, uh, we uh, could not m imagine uh, the magnitude of uh, the epidemic that this virus uh, will uh, be the cause of. At the time, in 30 years ago, 31 years ago, uh, indeed it was, uh, for example, in my country, in France, uh, we had 50 cases of people with AIDS. Uh, most of them were what uh, we call at that time people at risk for AIDS, uh, mostly uh, homosexual. And uh, it's only a few years after, probably around 1984, 1985, that we realized uh, that uh, a lot of people were dying of AIDS, in Africa in particular. So certainly not, we were quite naive, let's say, uh, 31 years ago, we thought first of all that uh, it was limited in size, uh, we were not thinking about uh, a real epidemic, and secondly, we we uh, very simply thought that uh, we have identified the virus. We uh, will develop a very rapidly rapidly diagnostic test, a vaccine. We will have a treatment, and everything will be solved in within few years. What lessons have you learned? from the nature of the response to HIV and AIDS and what lessons can this do you have for global health generally, do you think? The response to, um, to HIV, uh, I think it's a, it's a model. It's a model since the very beginning and for me as a scientist that was the first time in my own life that first of all I had to interact with people living with a disease. Uh, generally, scientists, you know, are working in their lab on disease, but they are working on very specific topic, and they don't even think too much about patients themselves. It was not the case with HIV. It's in the very beginning, uh, it turned out that uh, the patients themselves were coming to the lab. They were not coming to see us because we were doctors. I'm not a doctor personally. They just wanted to know from the scientists what is this virus? What are you going to do to find a solution, to find a treatment? So that was exceptional. It's, as a scientist uh, also, I used to say it's very frustrating to see that uh, science has delivered a lot, I think. And uh, uh, scientists uh, everywhere in the world have been really, uh, they made a great job. They deliver. We have today diagnostic. We have today tr a treatment, even if we don't have a vaccine. We have prevention tools as well that have been proven to be efficient. And why it's so long to implement at university, universal level. This is really frustrating as a scientist, <laughs> as a human being as well. <laughs> and uh, it's a reason that sometimes I say it's, uh, the scientists somehow are becoming activists. Because we cannot accept this kind of situation. <laughs> So it's nice uh, to work with our colleagues, the activists, to make things to, to go further.